Spokane to Sandpoint Relay, it's a 200 mile relay starting at the top of Mount Spokane, ending in Sandpoint, Idaho. Here we go, BNSF Trail Rails. Welcome to the finish line right there. The purpose of this event was to join the community. I think it's very important to be build relationships within the community. I think BNSF does a very good job of reaching out in the community, participating and supporting the community. It's an event that many of us have done for years. However, this is the first year that BNSF is a corporate sponsor for it. We serve a lot of customers. We're in communities, small and large, and to really put BNSF out there and show that we are you know, a really great organization, great company with employees that really care about our environment and care about um, the communities that we serve is, is really a big piece of why we do this. BNSF has actually become kind of a, a founded name running uh, Spokane to Sandpoint the last five years. It also demonstrates our commitment to, to fitness and wellness. Wellness plays a very important role in uh, our culture. I think the wellness of our employees and the health of our employees is tied directly to the safety of them. It also prevent a lot of injuries that occur because they, they're a healthy lifestyle. BNSF has always been a family organization. I believe in modeling the way and passing on those family values. The values really that the railroad values uh, on to the next generation. Tacoma, their team captain, nice job. My name is Steve Semenik. I am a project engineer in the Northwest Division. This will be my second year in the event. Uh, the first year went so great, I decided to sign up for another. Uh, you're running on everything from, from bridges that are over two and a half miles long, to back roads, to gravel roads, to the scenic highways. The Pacific Northwest is very unique to itself. I mean, we have such diversity of mountains, sound, snow, desert, so much that we can do outside that, as I travel the rest of the country, that, that they don't have. So it's, it's a great benefit up here. The environment is something very precious to me because I've lived up here a lot of my life. And it's probably that place I'd want to retire in because it's something I would call home.